Assalamu alaikum my little brothers and sisters. Welcome to our channel with Ryan and Ridwan. Today uh, it's the last episode of Adam Salam part 6 and 7. Jabil and the crow is Lord in Surah Al Maida, num number 5, verse 30, it says, His lower self pursued him to kill his brother. Pres we have a new vocabulary, my friends. Pursued. Pursued means lead or cause someone to do something. After killing his brother, Kabil came ashamed of his action. He started to cry. He was full of regret. He did not know what to do with the corpse of his brother. You know, we have an old vocabulary, vocabulary, my friends. Corpse. Corpse means body. He, he cried in agony. We have a new vocabulary, my friends. Agony. Agony means extreme pain. It's not from the outside, my friends. It's from the inside. It's extreme pain. Mental pain. Okay. Now I have killed my brother. But what shall I do with his body? Allah sent a black raven. You know that a raven is like a crow. The raven scratched the ground and showed Kabil how to bury his brother. And my friends, remember that there was, they said Allah sent a black raven? A black raven is like this image. Woe is me, cried Kabil helplessly. We have a new vocabulary, my friends. Woe. Woe means... Great sorrow or distress. I am worse, even worse than this raven. Or can not hide my brother's dead body. Kabil felt his meanness all the more so. Because even a raven could teach him a lesson. When one does things in a rage, everyone knows rage means you're extreme mad. It results in humiliation, shame, and disgrace. One should not fly into a rage and must fear Allah. If you raise your hand to kill me, I will not raise mine to kill you. In uh, Surah Al Maida, verse no, Surah five, verse twenty-eight, it says this: Kabil had certainly done a wrong. He had committed a great sin. He killed a person that to his own brother, without any reason. He had no fear of Allah. Allah was certainly not happy with Kabil. Allah is happy with those who fear Him. Allah does not like it when we fight and harm others. The story of Kabil and his brother. Habil teaches us to us that the two believers should never fight with each other. Even if one of them is bent fighting the other one like the gentle obedient habil should never fight back see you next time with another content i love this